I'm Julie. And I'm Martin. And we live full time on our 58 foot narrowboat home, Rhapsody in Blue. We're taking you along as we continuously cruise the canals and rivers of the UK with some beautiful scenery, occasional wildlife, landmarks, aqueducts and tunnels. Come with us. You'll remember last time we left you at Bridge 50 on the Leicester line of the Grand Union Canal. This beautiful mooring, it was so, so peaceful, obviously when the guns weren't firing. Um, but no, this was absolutely stunning mooring. We loved it here. Here's how it looked from above. So we've woken up this morning and there's ice on the water but you can probably see it was the boat that woke us up actually going past breaking all the ice as it went so you can actually see a channel where a boat has been but yeah it's quite cold but beautiful day absolutely glorious look at that sun's still rising so but it's bitter cold beautiful though this is why we do this and this is what it's all about it's just days like this just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous Just putting some diesel into our uh, reflex stove tank, which is under here, obviously under our, you can see now, the other jiggle pipe. So we have another can of 20 litres there. We'll just put an extra 20 there. That should be just more or less topping up the tank at the moment. Um, yeah, just to keep our reflex stove going so we can keep nice and warm. So just looking outside the, it's very icy at the moment. We're sort of hoping to get up towards Foxton Locks. Don't really want to get frozen in round here because uh, we need, I should think we're going to need water before long. But at the moment, I don't think we're too bad. But at least we can walk and get water if we don't. But as if the standpipes are not frozen. Anyway, catch you later. We'll just get ourselves sorted and I think we're gonna have a short cruise. I think we're at bridge 50 and hopefully it's around about bridge 60. Bye for now.
you can probably hear behind me that the uh, the wind has picked up so but we are going to make a break for it because it's a beautiful sunny day even though there is still some ice on the water we're going to go for it yeah we're going to head down towards foxton locks we're not going to do the locks today well i hope we're not fingers crossed that there's a mooring we just need to get down to the top of foxton Locks, so we're near a road because we are quickly running out of supplies we're out of milk we're out of bread um, and we've only got one or two dinners left so we really need to get near to a road so we can get a tesco shop so yeah so we'll take you with us i might try the microphones today because the wind has picked up something chronic. So, yeah. So here goes. <laughs> Martin's just taken off the big chimney and put the little travelling one on. say you need your hat mate <laughs> now we can go cruising <laughs> right <laughs> they are a bit mucky At least the ropes aren't frozen. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh. And we're off. Power on. Five. Six. Can you hear me? Right, are you ready? Well, the ice is about and we're about to set off up to Foxton. Let's have a look. So this time, using the Leicester Line and River Neen Pearson Guide, we left Bridge 50 and we cruised along through Seddingworth and along to Foxton Locks and we moored just before the winding hole at the top of the locks. So here we go. So we couldn't have wished for a better mooring. This has just been beautiful here, just near Bridge 50 on the Leicester Arm of the Grand Union. Gorgeous. But now we're off. So I'm trying the mic again. So hopefully it's not going to be too windy for you. It's a very cold, windy day, but I think we needed to move because uh, it's now beginning to freeze and we certainly don't want to be caught out in the middle of nowhere um, with no water and no places where we could possibly get any deliveries. If we go up to near Foxton, I think Bridge 60, that sort of area, um, we do have access to water if it's not frozen. And also, there's a road for us to possibly get a Tesco's if we need it. We've got a little bit of ice to go through, but it's very thin.
doesn't seem too bad at the moment, but the ice is broken up. We are pushing bits of it aside, but it's not too bad. Obviously, if it had been too thick, we would have had to just stay where we are. It's not worth taking the chance. Damaging your boat, damaging other people's boats, really, so. It doesn't seem too bad, so we'll just take it nice and slow and see how we get on. Oh, look at this beautiful boat. See the gorgeous views through here. Look at that. Hopefully when we come back this way, we're going to walk up there because the views from up there are spectacular. But the weather has just not been right at all. It's, um, it's been very high winds, rain and freezing cold. So the ground has just been too wet to tra traipsing up the top of a hill. But we will do that on our way back. That's a promise. It's beautiful here. So this is bridge 51 and we are going to bridge 61, I believe. Look at the beautiful colour of the sky, look at that. Sun shining, blue sky, glorious. What more could you want? A little bit of heat would be good. <laughs> just think if you were living in a house, you wouldn't be doing things like this, you'd just stay indoors, wouldn't you? Or you'd be in a nice, comfortable car. So we haven't been this way before. Believe it or not, we left North Kilworth enough two years ago we did come down to bridge 50 where we've just left the mooring but we went to the windy knoll and i think is this the windy knoll? i can't remember that i think this is the windy knoll under this under this bridge we turned round and went back and then when we carried on our journey to go north we uh, went down the watford flight rather than through leicester bridge 52 just past here you've got a winding hole yeah it's just here there's your winding hole that's where you turn the boat and they're called winding holes because you use the wind to turn your boat so, past this winding hole to us this is our new territory even though we spent six months at North Kilworth Marina. So if you can see through there, beautiful views. Yeah, we've not been up this far before, so this is a first for us. New waters. Judy's braving it out at the front. I think she likes to be at the front of the boat, it's calmer, and quieter. She sometimes says that it's warmer up here because I'm standing above the engine. Oh, I bet those houses have got a lovely view. Beautiful. I tell you, you don't realise 
not too bad once you, you're sheltered from the wind as soon as that opens up a little bit and the wind blows across oh that is very cold Fifty-three. Hiya. Bridge 54. Some more moorings now we've just seen a boat go past. Yeah, let's hope so, eh? Did you say there was a shot? Yes. Ooh. Oh, was it the one where you go down the bottom near the pub? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Keep hold of the tiller. <laughs> Keep hold of what? The tiller. <laughs> Oh, no. she's standing. Keep out of it. Of course you can, dear. Keep it if you can find it. <laughs> um, oh, yes, and this is new water for us. Yes, I yes, did say that. New there. water. Yeah. Yeah. So I think the last time not, I said we come up, didn't we? We met some friends when we left the marina. Yep. At Bridge 50, where yep. we've been moored for the last few days. Yep. And then we went up to Bridge 52. Yep. And the turned hole. at the Winding Hole. That was April 2022. So yeah. Is it? Yep. Bloody hell. And this, oh, this is new waters for us now, and we're going to, ho we're hoping to moor at the top of the locks. We don't want to do the locks today, do we? Well, no. we'll try and do a few days at the no. top if we can. Yeah. There's a road. I think yeah. we said it in there. There's a road. We need to get some shopping. Shopping. Um, and you never know. We, uh, well, our son wants to come and visit us, doesn't he? So it's easy access yeah. in for, yeah. in for parking. Yeah. And we know the towpaths are a bit better friendly. <laughs> friendlier. <laughs> had the tiniest bit of snow last night and that's all that's left of it on the button. <laughs> Not far now. Only a couple of more bridges and we'll be thinking of mooring up. Hasn't this been beautiful though? Isn't it stunning down here? I'm so glad that we've managed to have a nice sunny day for this. It's gorgeous. Even in winter, the canals can just be so beautiful. Just love nature. Wow, and look at those views. Gorgeous. Not sure what's happened here, but it looks like they've shored the bank up. Actually, I can see now they've actually put a towpath in. 
as the towpath is practically non-existent so so you can walk along it's obviously getting colder because we've got uh, more ice forming on the water not a lot but enough it is very very cold i think it's about minus two we're hoping to moor after this bridge i believe so we're going to drop me off here and i'm going to walk forward and see if there's any spaces further down right here we go sorry if this is jerky walk up and see if there's any moorings closer to the locks. We'll see. So this is where we're going to moor. Just here. It's on a very, very, very slight bend. Very slight. But uh, that's not bad. I'm not sure you can see our boat. The sun is shining on the water. But it's beautiful. Sucks, yeah, it is. That chappy made it for us, didn't he? Yep. Well, I can live with the wind a little bit. Well, I say I live with the wind. <laughs> Careful. Yeah. Yeah. And we're nice. Yep. Well <laughs> done. This is our view at the front of the boat. Look at that. Beautiful. Lovely. And this is what we have. On the side. Plenty of solar. Lovely jubbly. I hope there's bins here. <laughs> there is, isn't there, down by the toilets in the car park? Yeah, I think so. Martin's going the other side to go and do the uh, rubbish <laughs> past the museum. And I'm continuing to walk down. We believe there's a shop at the bottom, so we want to go and see if it's open. So there is a shop at the bottom of these, this last lock. Let's see if it's open. I see a sign out, but I think the short it might be open. It might well be open. Yes. So there's the Foxton locks in. And this is the junction at the bottom of the lock. Turn left to go towards Leicester. And you turn right to go towards Market Harbour, which is where we will go eventually. We're stopping here for a few days. Just walking back to the boat and look at this. We have tarmac. Yeah. No mud. Just no mud. Look at that, beautiful colours. Lovely. Yeah. Mm. The sun's setting behind our boat, look at that. 
Beautiful. So I've got my washing and a black bag and I'm now going to walk it down to the uh, laundrette. There's a laundrette next to the shop in the pub. So let's go and see what that's like, shall we? That was a bonus, I tell you. Yeah, it's not too bad walking this way because I'm going downhill. I'm going to be going down the locks. Coming back with the washing is going to be a little bit more challenging because it's uphill. <laughs> Actually looks like there's a boat moving today. Looks like there's a boat coming up her locks. That's cool. So by the side of the pub you've got showers and you've got laundrette. They even give you the key. So it's literally just me. Wow. Hopefully you get this done. There's one large washer, one large dryer, perfect and while the washing was doing I sat outside and watched the birds. So we've just walked up to the car park at the top of Foxton Locks um, and we're waiting for a Tesco's delivery. So while we wait, let's have a look at the uh, information boards. Oh, look at that. I love the way they've used lock beams as like the theme, obviously, because this is Foxton Locks car park. Oh, there you go. More of a detailed map of where we are. Martin's not well, are you, mate? No. He's got the lurgy. He's got the lurgy. <laughs> but he's come with me to get the Tesco shopping, so he's a, he's a soldier. A I did all the washing this morning, though, as well. So. I put diesel in. I know, you're a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Ubered. <Aww. laughs> so once again, we're going back to the boat with our shopping. And once again, that wheel that Martin fixed is all coming apart again. <laughs> so it did us for a couple of months or so, for a few months. Looks like, looks like we're going to have to get a new trolley. <laughs> Never mind. We're winning. They're fantastic. And there's our boat. We've done it. Now comes the part where I've got to get the shop and put away. It's a bit like one of those Chinese puzzles, trying to get it all in the boat and in the cupboards and away. But here goes. Join us next week when we show you a bit more of Foxton Locks and the rest that Foxton has to offer.